these guys again. It's a great pleasure to have them back on the show. This is Brad, the guitarist from Lincoln Park. What's up? This is Rob, the drums. How's it going? How are you guys doing today, man? Doing great. Great. Thanks for having us. Oh, no, thanks for coming on. Um, now, you guys have really climbed up the billboard since we've talked to you last. Uh, great amount of success. Uh, how are you taking that all in? It's a little bit of time, or, I mean, you know. We're just like sti tide and we're sticking to what we do best, which is being out on the road, playing shows, interacting with people, um, really just trying to get our music out as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you uh, had uh, producer Don Gilmore come in and work this, who's worked for Pearl Jam and Lit and Eve Six, name some uh, pretty uh, good acts to, to have on the old resume. Now, how did that happen? You want to tell us a little bit? Well, actually, we met with a lot of producers when we were looking. There was a large screening process. Yeah, there was a large screening process. But um, something that stuck out about Don Gilmore was he was really into working on the songs and he was a great songwriter, so that's what attracted us to him, and that's why we ended up working with him as a producer, and uh, we were very happy with the, the turnout of the, of the whole process with him. Now, did you, uh, did you uh, have, have a lot of the songs worked out before you went into the studio? I mean, because these are very complex songs. I mean, we there's actually, a lot of... We had all the songs written and recorded. Um, Mike's kind of like our Pro Tools wizard, so he had, he had recorded everything um, that we had going into the studio, and really, the recording process was re-recording all those songs and improving upon what we already thought was good. That's mm -hmm. why we wanted to work with a producer that was going to push us to ahead, to hear. improve upon what we already had. Mm -hmm. oh, cool, cool. So, uh, now, how long have you been on the road with this so far? I mean, have you been on straight since we've talked since to you last? Yeah, talked to you. We, I don't think we've had more than a week or two off. Maybe so a little bit for the holidays and all that. Yeah, so about seven months mm -hmm. and. We're going to finish this tour up the end of February, and uh, we'll be out, you know, if this airs in March, we'll be out in Europe with the Deftones. Oh, that would um, be cool. Chino and the guy. Yeah, and then we'll be back uh, in the United States for uh, OzFest. Oh, you'll be on, yeah, that's right. I just heard that. Are you looking forward to that? You know, is that a big deal for you guys? Yeah, Ozfest? it's a real big deal. We're going to be a main stage? Yeah, we're going to be opening up the main stage on OzFest this year, so that's definitely a very, very exciting thing for us. Now, Mike did the uh, artwork on the cover. I mean, you guys big on the art thing and, and all that. I mean, is he is he a, as well as a profound artist as he is a... Uh, Mike was actually... Or, Mike met uh, Mr. Han, our DJ, in art school um, oh, in okay. Pasadena. And he was working in graphic design before we got to pay the bills, before we got a record deal. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how we're paying, how he paid the bills after he quit his job. Because uh, we were basically, I mean... It's funny, people think like your record starts to do well that all of a sudden you have all this money, mm -hmm. but the way the record industry basically works is you don't get paid forever. No, yeah. So we're basically living You're off like our per diems, which is the money they give us for food each day. So as long as we stay on the road, we'll be, we'll be able to eat, basically. Well, I think things should be picking up a little bit now. I mean, what eventually year they will. Eventually they will, but we're just going to keep sticking to what we're doing and really just you know try to explore as many things as possible like we were in europe for a week uh for promotional tour we're going back like we said we're going to australia and japan and these are all places that we've never been to so the band is like affording us the opportunity to really see a lot of things that we normally wouldn't so you uh, yeah that's cool but you guys uh you guys know you got you play together um you know the drum and guitarist um it's usually you know it's like uh it's more of an organic type aspect of the band do you work a lot of things out on your own or um do you, do you just do you let Mike do it all. Yeah. Well, like, our, our writing process is collaborative, so everyone participates um, uh, with each song. But we're not like a jam band. Like, really, someone will come in with an idea. Like, Rob, Rob will start with the drum idea, or Mike will start with a beat. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll really, like, layer it on top of, it, on top of that. Mm -hmm. You guys had Dust Brothers come in and help you out with the tune on this. How did, how did that come about? That was great. We actually, on the, yeah, the, so on the song with you. Yeah, with um, you. It was basically like it was a back and forth process. They gave us a beat, worked on it, sent it back. They look, you know did some stuff on it. Kind of just went back and forth, and mm -hmm. you know I think with you is a great song. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. One of it's one of my favorites on the is album. It? Yeah. Now what uh, you're gonna have another track out? You said at the end yeah. of March. You know? Yeah, we heard about that. Um, I actually just saw that online on MTV, so I guess it must be true. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> you hear it first. <laughs> uh, yeah, the we're, so you hear it last. Yeah, the, right. even the bands I guess hear it first. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but we have been working on a second song uh, that's supposed to be on their record, uh, but we haven't finished it yet, so the key will be uh, to work on it when we actually get some time home, which mm -hmm. 
is uh, few, those on days are few record? and far between. On MTV? Yeah, it's uh, on the Dust Brothers. The Dust Brothers are doing a record that's a compilation of each song's like a collaboration mm-hmm. with different artists. Yeah. So they're compiling all these songs for a record that they're going to release. I and we'll, we'll be featured on one of the songs. Because that's like most of the songs on here, there's a lot of potential hits on this baby you know what i mean there's some good stuff on here you know i'd like to see a little bit more of that out on the uh, airwaves and video waves and all that you know uh, it's good stuff i want to ask you about there's a song that's being lo- downloaded off the internet the internet it's called my december mm-hmm. now where did that come from i mean what's that you, you... my december was a song we actually did for k-rock in la um okay. every year they do a, a compilation cd of a bunch of bands it's basically um, they sell the CD for charity, and it's like a, it's around the Christmas, you know, Christmas time, uh-huh. and so people do Christmas songs and all that stuff. We uh, actually wrote, well, actually, uh, I will kind of watch Mike write that song mm-hmm. in the, in an RV, um, sitting in a parking lot of a guitar center on an MPC. Got the he actually took some of the notes we had, the piano stuff in the MPC, and actually retuned them and stuff, mm-hmm. and started writing that. And uh, it was finished up when we were in Nashville. We actually did that on the road within a couple of days, and then. Um, that you know it was for, it was done for K Rock right. and yeah it's on our it's on our website. Yeah, a lot of people are seeing to be digging it from the feedback I've been getting. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. You said it's more of a keyboardish type, mel- like because the whole idea mellow. was for the Chris. It was like a Christmas CD, so we wanted to do something more mellow, more introspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's mellow, but it's still really cool. It's got a really dark kind of cool vibe to it. Cool. Well, I'd like to thank you, guys. I'll wrap this up. I know you guys have got a lot to do today. They're, they're big, important guys, and we were like, let them go. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, My pleasure. Yeah, it's cool. Pleasure. Here's uh, One thank Step you. Closer, once again, on the Rock Circus video show. Check out the bomb samurai stuff going on there, man. <laughs> All right, peace. Thanks, man. That's Thanks, great. man. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> sorry it took me a while to get started. No problem. It's no problem. been a while wait, since I've done an interview. Can we get a Uh... I think we did, but it was all out of focus. Would you mind doing a show ID real quick? I'm sure. Sorry. Just say, hey, we're uh, Brad and Rob. Yeah. We're watching the Rock Circus show. It'll be for future. It was a Rock Circus. Rock Circus. And you're yeah. watching Rock Circus? Rock, yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Rob. And this is Brad from Lincoln Park. And you're watching Rock Circus. Shazam.